Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the ABIT AA8 Duramax motherboard. What's included in this package is the necessary software and drivers, a user's manual, a floppy cable, and a regular IDE cable, four serial ATA cables, an IO shield plate, and two extra USB ports, and two extra Firewire ports. This gets installed at the back of your case in the expansion slot and the motherboard. This motherboard is based upon the Intel 925 chipset. It supports the latest Intel Socket 775 CPUs and they get installed right here. Now before I go any further I'll just show you here the difference between a Socket 478 CPU and a Socket 775. You can see that on the socket 478 there are pins. Well, on the socket 775 there is none. Rather, there are pins on the motherboard instead of on the CPU. Now let's have a closer look at this motherboard. Well, right here is where the socket 775 CPU gets installed. Now there's a plastic protective plate over it, as you can see, well, you need to remove that and then install the CPU. You can put up to 4 gigs of dual channel DDR2 memory right here. The regular IDE connection is right here, floppy right here. There are four serial ATA connections right here, and this board does do RAID. There are also two PCI slots, as well as one 16 times PCI Express slot right here. There are five fan headers. Now this one here is taken up by the North Bridge heat sink. You can see this heat sink also has a fan right here. This is where the CPU fan would get connected and you have three more fan headers. One right here, one right here, and one right here. And there are two main power connections. A 24 pin right here and a 4 pin right here. The PS2 keyboard and mouse get connected right here. The printer port and COM port are right here. Now this board does 7.1 channel audio. The optic in and out are right here and the remaining audio connections are right here. Also four USB 2 ports right here, a firewire and onboard LAN. Within the UGuru utility, there are a number of overclocking features as well as monitoring. First of all, let's have a look at the overclocking. You can adjust the front side bus all the way up to 300, as well as adjusting the DRAM frequency and the PCI Express clock and the PCI clock. You can also adjust the voltages for the CPU memory and the Northbridge. The CPU goes all the way up to 1.7375 volts. The memory can go all the way up to 2.25 volts and the Northbridge can go all the way up to 2.05. There's also power cycle stats. Still within the UGuru utility part of the BIOS is monitoring features. You can monitor the temperature, the voltage, as well as the fan speed. In here as well is fan EQ control. This is a very nice feature because you can not set a certain threshold for the fans to kick in. For example, if you want them to go at 60%, let's say at 50 degrees C, you can do that. If you want them to go at 100% spin at 65 degrees C, you can do that in this area. Within the advanced BIOS features, you can enable or disable a hyper-threading technology. Also set the hard disk boot priority, as well as setting the first boot, second boot, and third boot device, and so on. Within the advanced chipset part of the BIOS is where you can tweak the memory. You have a BIOSPD, an automatic, or a manual setting where you can manually adjust all of the timings. And finally, the integrated peripherals. This is where you adjust and set all of the onboard features. ABIT includes some very noteworthy software, the first one being ABIT EQ. This will show you the temperature, the voltage, and the fan speeds. The other one is very cool, called OC. Guru. Overclock Guru is a program that will let you overclock right in the operating system. 
will let you adjust the external clock or the front side bus, the PCI express clock, the PCI clock, as well as all the voltages, the CPU, the memory, as well as the north bridge. And also in here you can adjust the fan speeds on the CPU, north bridge and the system. And you can do that with different temperatures. If you remember, in the BIOS there was an area called fan EQ control. Well, this is pretty much it except it's done through software. Setting different temperatures to tell the fans to spin at different speeds. And also flash menu. This will let you update the BIOS in one click through the operating system. This motherboard performs very well. It's reliable, stable, overclocks very well, and it's jam-packed full of features. This is a 100% kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you. Then also pop it on my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until the next time, take care.